Right now at noon, the absentee ballot fight in Wisconsin continues what Republicans are demanding. And the first presidential debate is being described as chaotic. We'll highlight the key moments and the fallout. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now on this Wednesday afternoon. The Republican-controlled Wisconsin legislature is asking a federal appeals court to put on hold its ruling, allowing for absentee ballots to be counted in the presidential battleground state for six days after the election. Today, the legislature asked the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to keep the ruling on hold until the Wisconsin Supreme Court addresses a separate question of whether the legislature has standing to sue in the case. Attorneys for the legislature say keeping the ruling on hold would be in standing with federal court precedent to avoid sowing voter confusion during an election. The chairman of the Wisconsin Republican Party is warning Milwaukee's chief elections official that it would be illegal for any Milwaukee Bucks or Brewers players or mascots to participate in early voting events planned at their stadiums. Milwaukee plans to allow for in-person absentee voting at Miller Park and Pfizer Forum between October 20th and November 1st. The two presidential candidates are hitting the campaign trail today, a day after their first messy presidential debate. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. The first presidential debate was marked by chaos, personal insults, and interruptions, more than 70 of them. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just want to make sure. The, I, I, the two candidates sparred over health care. He wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. What is the Trump health care plan? Right. Well, first of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him. I'm cutting drug prices. They also clashed over the economy and the coronavirus. People want their schools open. They don't want to be shut down. You can't fix the economy until you fix the COVID crisis. President Trump denied a New York Times report that he paid only $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017. I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. Show us your tax returns. I went. Uh, you'll see it as soon as it's finished. You'll see it. One of the most striking moments of the debate was President Trump's response when asked if he would condemn white supremacy groups. And would you like me to condemn white proud supremacists boys. and right proud proud boys. Boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. Members of the far-right, self-described Western chauvinist group were listening. They quickly added Mr. Trump's words to their logo. He is refusing to condemn white supremacy. Why is that so hard for the president of the United States? Well, I think he has. I mean, I've been in press conferences when he has. I mean, I've seen him say it repeatedly. So, you know, he's condemned many white supremacist groups. President Trump returns to the campaign trail tonight with a rally in Minnesota. Democratic nominee Joe Biden has begun a train tour of Ohio and Pennsylvania to critical battleground states. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And a CBS News poll found 69% of respondents found last night's matchup annoying. Only 17% said they found it informative. New at noon, Alder Donna Moreland resigned from the Madison Common Council yesterday. Her resignation is effective immediately. Moreland has represented the 7th District of the Common Council since April of 2019. District 7 rests on Madison's southwest side. City officials say they will start the process to fill Moreland's seat in the near future. Another cool and cloudy day, possible scattered showers around the area. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your first warm forecast. That's right, Mark. Northwesterly flow is all to do with these rain chances, and you see them moving from the northwest and towards the south and east. This is as a departing area of low pressure from the weekend continues to have influence over us. This is also a reinforcing shot of some cooler air that's going to be moving in to set the stage for the end of this week. Here's Doppler track right now. We actually did have a shower right on top of us in Dane County, but that moved on through the southwestern part of the county and then fell apart by the time it got towards Stoughton. But I'm still watching what's developing throughout the arrowhead of Minnesota and what's going to eventually come off of Lake Superior. That's more moisture that will lead to added rain chances as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow as well. 51 our temperature now. Winds are coming out of the north and northwest at 12. Here's what I want to show you, though. I think this really sums up how the weather is going to go. As you look ahead, parts of the day will be dry. You might get a peak of sunshine or two at times. Then you get a shower 
and then the sun comes back out and we're dry and then another shower. It's a good old fashioned game of splash and dash that we're, that we're going to be playing as we go through the next couple of days. All right, Chris, check back in a few minutes. Thank you. A police officer is injured and three people are arrested after an altercation in Fort Atkinson. Officers say they were called to Rockwell Avenue near South Main Street in Fort Atkinson to a report of suspicious people trying to enter an apartment building. Police stopped the suspects during a traffic stop. They became confrontational. Officers deployed K-9 Bolt and one of the suspects deployed their dog. Police say the dog attacked officers and K-9 Bolt, which forced officers to kill the other dog. The three men are in custody. One officer was sent to the hospital. K-9 Bolt was uninjured. One of the three suspects involved in the shooting death of 11-year-old Anissa Scott has entered a plea. Court records show 17-year-old Jerry Ward st stood mute and the court and entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. He's charged with first degree intentional homicide and attempted first degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime. Perry and Carrion and Andre Brown have also been charged. The $1.5 million cash bail is continued. Right now, the Madison and Milwaukee Teachers Union are calling on Wisconsin Department of Health Secretary Andrea Palm to order all K-12 through colleges and universities to move to virtual instruction. This is happening outside the Department of Health Services building in Madison. The union say they want virtual education until the COVID-19 virus is contained. You can watch the full event on our website, channel3000.com, as well as our Facebook page, and we'll have more on this news conference in our later newscasts. CBS News has also obtained the latest weekly state report for Wisconsin written by the White House Coronavirus Task Force for state officials. The September 27th report, the task force has placed Wisconsin in the red zone for new cases with the third highest rate in the country and in the orange zone for test positivity with the seventh highest rate in the country. Over the last week, there have been a decrease in new cases but a sharp increase in test positive, positivity and hospitalizations. Right now, Wisconsin has one 120,452 cases, including 1,306 deaths. CBS News has also learned the White House, including Dr. Deborah Burks, pressured the CDC to downplay the risk of coronavirus in children as the Trump administration pushed to reopen schools. One former CDC official told CBS News the White House was, quote, slicing and dicing data to fit their narrative. It was people within the White House specifically tasking more junior level staff to try to find alternate data, data that fit the narrative that they wanted, which was it only affects, you know, people above the age of 75 and it doesn't affect younger school children. It was all part of the narrative of we need to open up these schools. We need to open them up now. In a statement, the White House told CBS News President Trump relies on the advice of all of his top health officials who agree that it is in the public health interest to safely reopen schools and that the relative risk posed by the virus to young people are outweighed by the risk of keeping children out of school indefinitely. In nine hours, the Brewers will take the field in Los Angeles as they face the Dodgers in Game 1 of the Wild Card Series. Brent Suter will take the bound for the crew, while Walker Buehler will be the, taking the stand for the L.A. Dodgers. The Brewers will play a best-of-three series against the Dodgers. First pitch is set for 9.08 this evening. It will be televised on ESPN. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. You can't decide between wonton or egg drop soup with today's easy recipe. You won't have to. So grab a soup spoon and meet me right back here. Through Monday at Furniture and Appliance Mart, pay just $1 down for top brand appliances. That's right, you pay just a buck. Seriously. And finance your entire purchase interest free through 2021. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. The time is right to do something nice for your home. Why not replace your gutters with LeafGuard, the only gutter system that has earned the good housekeeping seal of approval. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. LeafGuard's patented one-piece seamless design keeps leaves and debris out, which means no more clogs. Guaranteed. LeafGuard carries a lifetime warranty, so your home's foundation will be protected forever, and our customers couldn't be happier. They're the best. I don't have to worry about the, the gutters getting clogged up with the seeds, the branches, the, the dirt, the, the roof sheddings, and 
It's just one less worry for me. And right now, save big on your new LeafGuard brand gutter system and get some incredible extras. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, get free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. You were always the responsible one. So much like me. Always taking care of everyone else. But this, this wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. Join Anytime Fitness on Tuesday, October 6th during our 12-hour sale and literally only pay what you can. It's our way of helping you get back to making healthy happen. Pay what you can on Tuesday, October 6th at Anytime Fitness. Joe Biden isn't an epidemiologist. He's not an economist or military general. But what he is, is the kind of leader who listens to the experts and a candidate who has earned their support. And what he'll be is a president who leads us out of this crisis and a commander in chief who respects those who have served. Because Joe Biden knows this moment is not about him, but about what we can do together. FF Pack is responsible for the content of this ad. Through Monday at Ashley Home Store, pay just $1 down for the best sleep of your life. You pay just a buck at checkout for any mattress in our lineup. Seriously. Plus, savings up to 55% off and no interest financing for up to six years. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. When it comes to choosing between wonton and egg drop soup, which do you prefer? I like them both which is why we came up with an egg drop soup with wontons in it. That is as easy as can be. We begin by heating some chicken broth with a touch of sesame oil. While that heats up, we combine some ground pork with a few sliced scallions, ground ginger, and garlic powder. Once that's mixed, we put spoonfuls of this on a wonton skin. And if you're wondering, where can I find these? They're usually in the produce section. Next, we brush the edges with beaten eggs, fold it over to form a triangle, and seal them up. Then, into the soup they go. Once they're cooked, we take them out and thicken our soup by slowly stirring in some cornstarch mixed with a bit of chicken broth. To make this true egg drop soup, we need to add some eggs, of course. So we drizzle in a few at a time that we've beaten. We finish it off with a touch of soy sauce before adding the cooked wontons back in. That's it. Maybe top it off with a few scallions and it's ready to serve. And the best part is, it's so good, no one would ever believe that you made it from scratch. The recipe for our wonton egg drop soup is online now, so you can have the best of both worlds. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a super duper way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, guys, thank you. The head on news right now at noon, another cool and cloudy day, and we could see some scattered showers later on. Meteorologist Chris Reese has more in your first warm forecast next. At Healthy Minds, we recognize these are trying times, but we're here to help. Our personalized care and expertise in cutting-edge therapies can help you maintain good balance and vitality in your life. We can help you and those you care about. Contact Healthy Minds today. The Social Security Administration just released a report saying that if a plan like the one Trump is proposing goes into effect, the Social Security Trust Fund would be, and I quote, permanently depleted by the middle of calendar year 2023. Put it plainly, Trump's plan would wipe out Social Security. If I'm your president, we're going to protect Social Security and Medicare. You have my word. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. 
Come to Menards for everything you need in your bathroom. Check out our great selection of Magic Woods vanities. These vanities are built with superior quality and a unique style to complement your home. Place the finishing touch with a Moen faucet. Moen products are built to last and are resistant to leaks and drips. Right now, all Magic Woods vanities and Moen faucets are 11% off. Finish all your projects at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At Healthy Minds, we recognize these are trying times, but we're here to help. Our personalized care and expertise in cutting-edge therapies can help you maintain good balance and vitality in your life. We can help you and those you care about. Contact Healthy Minds today. Hi, everyone. Hattie's got her eyes on a very chilly weekend and the possibility of our first frost. And Wisconsin election officials will give us an update on how many absentee ballots for November's election have already been returned. That and more Thursday morning on News 3 Now. Important voter information, especially if you're voting by mail. News 3 Now has step-by-step -step guidance for requesting and then tracking your ballot online to make sure your vote counts on November 3rd, Thursday, on News 3 Now at 10. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. A mixed bag of the latest economic and employment data and the most fear-inducing film for a stay-at-home scare. Diane King Hall has more in today's Money Watch report. Private companies went on a hiring spree in September. According to payroll processor ADP, employers brought on 749,000 workers during the month. That was more than expected. A new reading on the U.S. economy shows it shrank at a record rate in the second quarter. According to the Commerce Department, GDP plunged 31.4 percent between April and June. But economists are predicting a rebound in the third quarter. More than 50 percent of small businesses are worried that ongoing social distancing measures will hurt their chance of survival. That's according to a survey out this week from Morning Consult for Verizon Business. Two-thirds of business owners reported falling sales, but that was actually an improvement over those polled in April when 78 percent suffered from sagging sales. And whether you jump in your seat or cover your eyes and hide, horror films conjure up a range of emotions. And gaming company Buzz Bingo ranked which are the scariest in the run-up to Halloween. Insidious topped the list. The Haunting in Connecticut was the second highest fear inducer, and The Conjuring 2 rounded out the top three. The study measured an individual's heart rate while they watched various horror flicks, as well as frequency and intensity of scares. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane Kinghall. Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 487 points. The Nasdaq up 158 and the S&P 500 up almost 47 points. Let's check in now with Q106 Farm Director Pam Yankee on this cool Wednesday. Yes, very cool. And we're getting ready for that frost. It's right on time, pretty much, if you think about it. Normally, we have World Dairy Expo this week, and normally we see these kinds of weather conditions fairly frequently, so we're ready. Uh, boy, I thought I was going to bring some good numbers to the table, but you guys on uh, Dow and NASDAQ beat me out. Uh, today, it's a ride em cowboy situation with corn, beans, and wheat. We got a quarterly stock report out this morning. Now, honestly, normally, I glance at it, try to make sense of it. But today, it is rocking and rolling our markets. What happened is USDA came out with a 10% drop in the amount of available corn that we've got on hand. The bushels that they are projecting we've got on hand are probably somewhere around uh, 50 million bushel. I'm, I'm just, I got to think about the decimal point, about 50 million bushel less than what the trade had expected. 42% drop on the available soybeans. That tells you how aggressively we have been moving beans on the international market. Uh, so the markets, as far as corn and beans, as you saw, up double digits, 30 cents and better, and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down any time this afternoon. So again, corn, beans, and wheat are up uh, huge on the midday. Now, we also want to remember that we are still trying to assist our farmers when it comes to the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. Sandy Chalmers, our Wisconsin Executive Director of the FSA offices, administering that program, said in the first round, $523 million went out to our Wisconsin farmers, about 19 
15,000 applications and about two-thirds of the money going to our Wisconsin dairy farmers. Dairy today in Chicago also robust. Barrel cheese was up seven cents today at a dollar eighty. Forty pound block cheese up three quarters of a cent at two fifty seven and a quarter with two trades. Double A butter today was unchanged but did have five buyers at a dollar fifty one per pound. But like I said, I thought right up cowboy because those markets were in the red yesterday and today thirty better than thirty cents stronger on corn and beans. It's the only phrase I could come up with. <laughs> kind of like our weather forecast. Ride them, cowboy. Hey, ride them, cowboy. <laughs> All right, Pam, thank you. Here's Chris now with that forecast. Splash and Dash is the game we're going to be playing as we go through today and through Thursday as well. Below normal temperatures stick around through next Monday as well. And that first frost potential, you heard Pam say it, that is in store by the time we get you towards Saturday morning here throughout South Central Wisconsin. Here's what we're watching on high resolution Doppler right now. We got a batch of showers move through the central part of the state. Most of that moved just northeast of the viewing area, but places throughout parts of Dodge County, you certainly got in on more of the shower activity. And there was a couple of showers back towards the west that actually moved through Dane County and then passed through southwestern parts of the county and then pushed on towards the south and east, but it fizzled out as it did so as well. So folks just towards the south and east got a little bit lucky. But one thing I'm watching just back towards the north now, it's a new area of developing showers that's going to set the stage for the overnight hours and into tomorrow as well. Here's what we have going on across the country. We had one cold front earlier in this week. That's now across the Appalachian Mountains. This is where our cooler air is. We just got in on a secondary push of cooler air separating us from the chili that you see just back towards the north. In fact, here's the air pattern. You see the cooler temperatures towards the south. Watch how this chilly air starts to work its way in as we go through the end of this week. But folks, if you like warmer weather, just wait till we get towards next week. I'm happy to say that by the time we get you beyond Monday and into Tuesday, the warmer air tries to make a comeback. And by the time we get you towards the end of next week and into next weekend, that's what appears to be the case. In fact, we could see above normal temperatures for the second week of October. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment. In the meantime, it's still a windy and breezy day. We're at 51 with mostly cloudy skies. A lot of us are into the low 50s. Some of us have made into the upper 50s. Boscobel is at 58. The Dells are at 50, but then Watoma and Juno are both at 48. Jane's a lot warmer at 59. That's because they've had more sunshine than we've had in Madison today. We take you hour by hour throughout the overnight and watch this. We actually see more showers pop up perhaps this afternoon and evening. Then it's tomorrow morning. That's when we get the bulk of the splash and dash activity as spotty showers will pop up throughout the morning and then last throughout the afternoon. Temperatures will top out to the mid 50s. By tomorrow evening though, we should start to clear out. This is two o'clock in the morning. Once the clouds begin to leave, Temperatures have the opportunity to drop. We're going down to the mid 30s here throughout central and south central Wisconsin and then low 30s as you work your way closer to central Wisconsin. This is why that first frost and freeze is possible for parts of the state. But next Tuesday, we're back with temperatures closer to average. And then here is that second full week of October with temperatures likely to be above average for all of the lower 48. An alert day Saturday morning for the frost potential. Our coolest low though, 35. And then we'll see more sunshine and warmer temperatures as we go through the following week. Just a few more days. A few more. Okay, thank you, Chris. Ahead on Newsroom Now at noon, how two women in New Mexico are doing something good for servers. That's ahead at noon. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I want a reservation for two pair of glasses and an eye exam. Oh, you can just walk in. I see my reputation precedes me. Actually, we do this for everyone. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Boop, gone. Unbeatable prices without the drama. Two pair plus a free eye exam as low as $59.95. For our seniors, Social Security is a sacred obligation, a sacred promise made. The current president is threatening to break that promise. He's proposing to eliminate a tax that pays for almost half the Social Security without any way of making up for that lost revenue. I will not let that happen. If I'm your president, 
We're going to protect Social Security and Medicare. You have my word. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty, you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship dedicated to being the best. RHD Plumbing now offers complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling, the best plumbers, and everything else you need to finish your dream project. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time with no surprises. With the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing, proudly serving all of Dane County. You were always the responsible one. So much like me, always taking care of everyone else. But this, this wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to deal with your messy gutters anymore? Leave that nasty chore in the rear view mirror with a new Leaf Guard gutter system. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how Leaf Guard's patented design keeps leaves and debris out so you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. And now is the best time to get Leaf Guard. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. Stanton Optical is always here for you with our safe telehealth technology. You can just walk in for an eye exam whenever you need one. And your eye exam is free when you buy two pair of glasses for as low as $59.95. Find your nearest store at stantonoptical.com or call 1-800-STANTON. A New Mexico server got the tip of a lifetime. It comes after two women rallied social media to offer some support to the service industry. Katie Beery has the story. The two Las Cruces women were actually inspired by this social media app. It's called TikTok. We just want to be able to help somebody. They found the Venmo challenge. Jenny and Christy saw that social media users across the world are asking their followers to donate small amounts that will contribute toward a big tip at restaurants. $1,000 that we're giving you for a tip. Are you serious? Are this past month alone, the women raised more than $1,200 for one lucky server. You know, $1,000 is life-changing. It really is. So, uh, we just want, we do this out of the goodness of our heart. Like, our hearts are bursting right now. We wanted to be able to be a light in the community. Yes. And to spread ins inspiration and hope. 100 200 they decided to surprise their server at the Game 2 in Las Cruces. This is Audrey Pacheco. And this is the moment it happened. 1100 20 40 60 80 So we're just happy to be able to raise that money and bless somebody else. So thank you so much. Yes! Thank you. I'm extremely grateful. Um, I love my community. Um, I just never thought I would be chosen to receive something like this. Um, it's been rough lately, so it's, this is just like amazing, honestly. Me and my daughter are gonna have a little fun with it, so just mainly made my day, and I'm just so grateful. Doing something good. All right, here's Chris with one final check of your forecast. Yeah, we're going to watch another day of the splash and dash showers come on through. You saw that sunshine in Platteville behind me. Eventually, more cloud cover moves in, and you get another chance to see some showers. But it's not a washout at all. So if you have something that you need to do outdoors, you still have plenty of opportunity to take advantage of that. It will be chilly. It will be breezy. Today's high will be into the upper 50s to right around 60 for most folks. Tomorrow, we're cooler. Friday. Friday and Saturday were cooler than that. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4. Have a great afternoon.